Good evening, everyone. My name is Michelle Fletcher, and I am the college recruiter. I hope that everybody is doing well, and thank you for joining us uh, in this session. Now, we only have about 30 minutes, and we're going to jump right into it, but there's a couple things I'd like to say before we get started. Now, to, this evening, of course, we're having this session on a Thursday evening from 6 to 6.30. But going forward, these sessions will be on a Tuesday evening, same time from 6 to 6.30. So it is indeed our hope that you will join us uh, in a future session. As a matter of fact, the next session will be on October the 24th, Tuesday, October the 24th. And from that point on, we will be hosting these sessions on a Tuesday evening. It is our hope that we are sharing information with you, that we will share information with you that will be useful to you as you consider uh, CVCC. Uh, now, do we think CVCC is the best choice for you? Of course we do. But we want you to be able to make an informed decision. And so we are going to make sure we bring as much information your way as we can to help you do that. Now, on these Tuesday uh, sessions, we're going to talk to you just about, uh, I mean, everything from programming to transfer to financial aid. So a lot of good information will be packed in 30 minutes. And again, I would encourage you to, uh, to join us. Now, I will come back at the end of the uh, session and probably have a few more uh, things to say to you so that uh, you will know where to find these sessions, how to go in and take a look at the topics and, and what's uh, coming up next. But this evening, you are going to uh, hear from our uh, navigators and our advisors, our counselors. They're going to be talking with you about uh, how to get started. They're going to talk with you about programs. They're going to talk with you about their specific area because some of the counselors have specific areas that they, um, they're, they're connected with. And so we're going to make sure that, uh, that you have that information. So with that, I am going to give it over to Kimberly French. Kimberly is the coordinator of student services and counseling. I think I got that right, but she will correct me if, if, if I didn't get it correct. But I'm going to turn you over to Kimberly and her team, and she will um, introduce herself and then move us forward with what they'll be talking with us uh, about this evening. Kimberly? Thank you, Michelle. You're very close. Um, I'm Kimberly French, coordinator of advising services. And you will be able to have a chance today to talk to all the navigators and the counselors. And um, I want to introduce who they are. So when I, you'll be able to look at their names on, on here. So Tanita Anthony is a college navigator. You've got Raylene Cope, who's a college navigator. Brittany Patterson, who's a um, college navigator. And then Sarah Landis, who is a college navigator. Then you have our advisors who are Ashley Pearson, Jake Mitchell, Trish Sawyer and Meredith McLaughlin. And they're gonna tell you a little bit about what they do in a little bit, but I just wanna tell you, um, you know, a little bit about what we do in advising and how we help you as students. So one of the things that we do is um, from the point of application, you get assigned a navigator. And um, during that point in time, you're gonna be able to meet with them to do, they're gonna talk a little bit about that, but they're gonna be able to, help you be able to get enrolled in your classes your first semester. Second semester, you will work with your counselor. Um, at the point of application, when they do the, the navigators reach out to you, you are gonna be able to make appointments with them. I wanna talk to you a little bit about what an appointment is versus a walk-in. So appointments, you will have about 45 minutes to sit down with them and talk with them and be able to work out some of your programming, um, talk about your your pathways and really get into some some discussions with with them. A walk in is a little bit shorter. You know, walk ins maybe might be 15, 20 minutes um, to be able to walk in and get something done quickly with with a navigator or an advisor. Um, and we have something called express enrollments. Express enrollments are really something that we do to try to help students come in at that point in time and really just get enrolled. Um, that is your enrollment period. It's not that time to sit down and talk about your programs and talk about your, your next steps and for your whole, whole two years. It's really about your enrollment period. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the differences with that. So, um, because a lot of students ask, you know, I want to really get down and talk about my transfer process. I want to talk about this. Well, that takes some time. So as a walk-in or maybe express enrollment, that might not be your best time. Your best time is probably going to be actually making that appointment with your navigator, your advisor, and that's when you're gonna be able to work with them a little bit, little bit more in depth. 
Um, if you're interested in second eight week courses, um, our second eight week courses start on October 18th. So um, now's the time to get enrolled for those courses and to be able to really start working to be able to get enrolled in your second eight week classes. Now get ready because spring class registration starts October 30th. And so October 30th, you'll be able to come in. You can start planning um, within the next couple of weeks. Well, next week, oh my goodness, October 30th is almost here. Um, so October 30th is when we start with spring enrollment. Um, so be ready. Um, the advisors are ready to meet with you. They're excited about it. And I'm going to stop talking and let them be the ones to, to share with you. So Tanita, you want to start off? Absolutely. Hello, everyone. My name is Tanita Anthony, and I'm one of the college navigators. Um, essentially, that means that I am an advisor for uh, brand new students or students that haven't been at CBTC in a while. Um, and so during our initial meeting, um, we'll go over your student account. Um, if you need help with the application, we'll help with that. We'll talk to financial aid and we'll go over some of the uh, different technology um, systems that we use at CBCC and really help you get a good start. Um, and so primarily I am um, assigned to um, all different students from all different programs. Um, but if you are a student at Lynchburg City School, so Heritage, EC Glass, or Fort Hill, um, I will be out in your schools um, talking to you about our programs uh, coming up soon. And I will also be at Brookville High School, which is my alma mater. Um, so I'll be there as well. I am also an advisor for our Jubilee De Family Development Center program. Um, so if you are interested in um, uh, manufacturing technician one, um, OSHA or NCCR core, um, those are some programs that we're going to be offering at Jubilee. Um, so I look forward to meeting with you all. Raylene, you want to take it over from here? <laughs> yes, I sure do. <laughs> Hi, I am Raylene Cope. I am also one of the navigators and um, I try to bring a little sunshine to the group every now and then. Um, I like working with the first year students just like Tanita does, but we like to also call it a wraparound service. So one of the things we would do um, is if you have, you know, really big questions about different programs, we can actually take you to the program itself. So if you're interested in culinary arts, we can walk you over there. If you're interested in mechatronics, we can we can take you there and introduce you to some of the um, employees and the staff there. So we, we try to pull up close and make sure you have all the things that you need to be most successful. Um, I like to, um, to also make sure that students are good with financial aid. I'll take you to the um, bookstore to help you get the books that you need. Um, you know, we do everything to make sure that you're, you've got everything in place. I mostly work with the um, schools that are at Appomattox. So you'll see me at Appomattox County. You'll also see me at Amherst County High School. Um, and I'm a floater. So I will go to some of the other schools that um, are kind of smaller or in between private places like Temple Christian Academy, um, you know, some of the various different little schools that you see in the area. Um, and also we, we do talk to middle schools, um, elementary school students whenever they come to campus. So we are kind of one of the first people other than our front desk staff that make sure students have everything that they need. So I'm excited to meet with you guys when you come to campus. I'm gonna pass it on to Brittany. Hey everyone, my name is Brittany Patterson, also one of the college navigators. So just like Ms. Tia and Raylene spoke about, um, working with all of you new students, first time in college, or if it's been a little bit. So um, my role primarily works with Bedford County Schools. So I'll be visiting Jefferson Forest High School, where I graduated from, and also Liberty High School and Stan River High School. So look forward to meeting you guys. Um, you'll see us out with Miss Michelle Fletcher, our college recruiter, and we come and talk to you guys. We'll do virtual stuff like this, but we'll also come in person to your high school and then we'll get you on our campus to tour you around and get you to meet with people. So excited to, to meet you guys soon. I'll pass it on to Sarah. 
Hi, I'm Sarah Landis. I'm also one of the college navigators. And just like what my coworkers were saying, we're here to make sure you're successful. Um, so when you do meet with us, we try to find out, you know, what your goals, your career interests are, and try to point you in that direction and get you all squared away for your semester. Um, you know, we reach out to you in case you need anything, trying to see how your semester's going. Um, I also work with international students. So if you're an international student, come see me. We'll get you all squared away. Um, and I also work with mainly most of Campbell County minus Brookville. So I work with Rustburg, William Campbell, and Alta Vista. But yeah, we're looking forward to meeting you all. All right. Um, Meredith, do you want to take over? Yeah, hi. Um, so I am um, not a navigator, but a counselor. So once um, you get settled in your first year of, um, or your first semester of school, um, you will be turned over to one of the four of us. And um, my specialty is I work with students with disabilities. So in addition to helping you enroll, um, my cohort, I help them enroll and I help them um, with transfer. I, I help you with anything that you would need after your first semester. Um, but I also work with students with disabilities. So I work with anybody who has a 504 plan or an IEP um, or anybody who has any kind of um, documented um, medical or um, mental disability, anything like that, you would come and see me. Um, you'd set up a meeting and I would set up something called accommodations for the school. Um, you'd have to reach out to me, set something up, and then I could get you um, set up with anything that you needed in that regard. Um, I, I will be having my own um, session like this on December 5th, so I can go into a lot more detail then about what I would need and what's involved and who I can help and what kind of accommodations I have available. Um, that's me. So, Ashley, do you want to go next? Sure. Thanks, Meredith. Um, my name is Ashley Pearson, and I'm uh, an academic advisor here at CDCC. So as um, Meredith mentioned, um, we work with um, students um, starting their second semester. So, and as Kimberly mentioned, when you apply to the college, you'll be assigned a navigator and also a counselor. So, so we kind of um, uh, connect with you um, your second semester and, and make sure that you're um, taking the correct classes and that you're um, reaching your um, or ensuring that you reach your academic goals, whether it's to complete a two year transfer program or if you're looking to do a shorter program, a certificate or a career study certificate, we're going to make sure that we've got you um, on the right track. Um, I also work closely with students that are interested in the um, allied health programs, um, such as um, radiology, respiratory, medical laboratory technology, and then those students looking to go into nursing programs. So if you have questions about any of those programs, I'm happy to help answer those questions, and um, I look forward to working with you soon. Trish, do you want to go ahead and talk now? Sure. Thanks, Ashley. So I'm Trish Sawyer. I'm the transfer academic advisor in, in this department. And just because my title says transfer doesn't mean I'm the only one that talks transfer. The whole team is well versed in transfer. Your navigators hear things about, know things about transfer as well as all the counseling team. I just had the added um, um, responsibility of making sure I stay connected at the state level with institutions. So I know the, the details that we need to share with you as a student to make sure that you jump through the hoops that that institution requires for the program that you're interested in to, to make sure you're in the right classes at CBCC so your transfer process goes smooth as well. I also spend quite a bit of time talking about Transfer Virginia, which is a new portal. You can check it out at transfervirginia.org where students are able to research Virginia public and private institutions and check out programs and courses and you can actually um, key in your CBCC classes and see how they transfer to those institutions. Uh, I am having a session uh, the week before Meredith. Um, it's November 28th, and it will be all things transfer. So looking forward to working with you. Once your navigator gets you all onboarded, I'll be working with you after you get rolling into your um, first semester and helping you get ready with your next. And now we have Jake. Uh, hi. So, yeah, like Trish said, my name is Jake Mitchell. I'm also a returning counselor. So uh, I'll be meeting with some of you after you uh, are, are finished uh, working with your navigator. Um, I've been here for two years. Uh, I was an advisor at 
Liberty for five years before that. So uh, especially enjoy working with uh, students who are planning to transfer over there or doing co-enrollment. Um, a larger portion of my students are in the technical programs. So welding, machining, uh, mechatronics. Um, as far as focus, I do work with Framatome students. So students who are in the Framatome Academy. Um, I'm the, the point person for that. So if you have any questions about uh, the Framatome Academy, working with Framatome, I'm happy to answer any questions you have on, on that front. Um, and I think that's, that's it for me. As you can see, um, there's a wide variety of knowledge um, on this call today for you. And so we are happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, I know that you have joined this call tonight to be able to maybe see if there's some questions that we can answer for you. And we'll be happy to do that now. Anyone with any questions? I think Nathan. Nathan, uh, Nathan hands raised. Nathan, yes. Uh, yes, I just simply uh, wanted to uh, know, uh, I don't entirely know which one is my counselor. I'm a newly, tran I'm new here, so I would assume like, what was it, Kimberly was the one that was with the new people? It's your navigator, so it could be either Tanita, Raylene, um, or it could be Brittany, or it could be Sarah, so one of the fir first the four navigators would be one of the ones that you'd be assigned. Okay. Uh, is there any way I could figure out one? I can tell you exactly how to find that out. Um, do you have you, so you applied, so you got your username and your password, right? Yes. So when you log into your MyCVCC, one of the icons that you see, it's going to be navigate student. And so when you go to navigate student, when you log on for the first time, you'll you know you'll you'll be able to see it'll say your name, welcome Nathan, um, and then on the right side it'll tell you who your success team is, and you'll be able to look at your success team. Um, so when you look at your success team, it'll show who your navigator is and then who your counselor is. So um, I would I would ask you to look at that and see, and then you can even make it an appointment. Use a navigate. You'll be able to make that appointment when you're in there with your assigned navigator. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Hey, Nathan, I just wanted to add um, that very first time that you log into Navigate, it's going to have you do a survey. Um, and so that survey is meant to um, help us get more information about how you feel about being a new student and um, let us know if you need any extra services. So feel free to do that survey first and then um, you'll be able to access your success team. Okay, I actually just saw that now as I do have it open on a separate tab. All right, any other questions? Come on, these people, your tax dollars working for you right here tonight. Any questions? I don't have any questions. No questions? Okay, okay well, next, the question I, have, that I, had. I have some questions for you all. What programs are you interested in? I'm going to um, human resource management, management. I think it's like the SHRM. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm probably looking for more of a uh, like computer-based program so probably like technical or some so we have information systems technology is that is it more software based or is it more uh, yeah i would say probably software based okay so information systems will be a group a great one for you ryan mostly they're just and learning again. Okay. Well, awesome. We've got plenty of courses there for you for you to be able to get your, your foot in again and um, be able to help you. And how about you? Help? Yes. Sarah. All right. It sounds like, is that about it in terms of questions? Okay, so I have logged into my, my CVCC. Um, what was the next step? 
to how to find out your um your navigator navigator yeah so when you've logged in you'll go to navigate student okay okay and that survey that tanita was talking about will probably pop up for the first time would it be better i'm doing it on my phone would it be better if i did it on the computer absolutely mm -hmm. okay it comes up really small on the on the phone. You can do it on the phone, but it's a lot better on the computer for you. Okay. So anybody else want to share their program that they're going for? Well, it did look as though uh, Nasira, if I have that name correctly, said I'm interested in Sterling Process Technician. Not sure. Anybody on a call from S T E R L I N G processing technician? I have not heard that before. Can you elaborate for us? And you can type it if you'd rather not talk. Has anybody else on the call heard that before? Clearing and disinfecting surgical tools is yeah. what it is. Um, now, I would like to say uh, whether we have the program specific to, uh, again, your career interest, I do believe we can either help get you started or we can get you where you're trying to go. So I would uh, encourage everybody on the call. Uh, I do know we might have have one or two that are, are actually with us as students, but uh, to connect with your uh, your counselor. Uh, I was teasing when I said that they're your tax dollars working for you, but they really are. And so you want to stay on the right track. You want to make sure that you, you, you have a good beginning. And so stay connected with your counselor. I tell my STB class, you know, I don't care if you have a toothache, you go to your counselor and ask them, where can you get some toothache medicine? I mean, use these people to help you as you yeah. advance. Um, and it looks like uh, Winter, I love that name, how it's spelled, Burnett, uh, has indicated that I'm going for clinical med assistance. So Winter, have you been able to log in um, to be able to get help um, to know who your navigator is? And again, you can type it, and that's fine. Well, this is great. And like Michelle said, we are here to help you. We want to help you get started. We want to help you be successful, start your journey at CVCC on the right path, um, and continue on whether you're going to get a certificate whether you're going to get an associate's degree, whatever it may be, we're here to help you get started. All right, Kimberly, I'll take it back whenever you, you want to toss it back to me. You're good, Michelle. Go ahead. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you, everyone. And listen, uh, everyone that's on the call, not the uh, presenters, but the rest of us, let's show these people some love because they did a great job uh, putting that information out here to, uh, to us and making sure, again, that you are fully informed as you consider uh, your next steps as it concerns CVCC. And I would say it, and I'll say it 100 times, make sure you stay connected to these folks, to your counselors, your navigators, because that's their job to help you uh, find your way. Uh, having said that, the next session will be October the 24th. And it will be a session uh, concerning financial aid. And I would think that money would be a, of interest to everybody. And so we would love to have you back uh, on uh, the 24th and not only just the 24th going forward. Now, if you care to go in and take a look at when these sessions are offered, uh, just go to our website, get on the home page, just put information session in the search box and it will bring you to the schedule of, of, of sessions and the topics that we will be covering over these next months. So between uh, October 24th and April, we're gonna cover a lot of ground. Now I will not say that we're gonna have a session every Tuesday, so you'll do good to take a look at the date uh, as to when the next session 
uh, will be happening. Uh, the other thing I would say is these sessions will be uh, videoed as they are being videoed and they will be uploaded to our website and our YouTube channel. So you can go back and reference this information, any of it, anytime that you need to. Um, the schedule that I just previously spoke about probably will be up and ready to, to be viewed by the end of next week. We're still in the process of getting everything uh, 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 in its place. But uh, once the sessions are there, anytime you see it highlighted, it means you can go in and you can take a look at that session again. We have appreciated you uh, sharing your time with us this evening and, uh, and just tuning in. Again, we look forward to seeing you in a future session. Hope you have a great evening. And to the team of CVCC, uh, Council and Navigator, uh, you nailed it. Good job. Appreciate it. And um, again, thank you and have a good evening. Thank you. Uh, look forward to seeing you on campus. Bye. Michelle, the recording.